Good morning friends. Welcome to TCP theorem of particle physics. In TCP theorem, the T means time reversal operation, C means charge conjugation operation, P means parity operation. So now in this class we will see what is TCP theorem, what is separately the time reversal operation, charge conjugation operation and parity operation. So first the time reversal operation you can see if this is the reaction this A and B reacts to get C and D it's like this Feynman diagram represents. After the time reversal operation, this reaction will be the C and D combines to get A and B. Here, the position of the particles remains unchanged, but the arrow is reversed, means the process occurs in totally reverse manner. If this reaction is possible, if this reaction after this time reversal is possible, then the, this reaction is invariant under time reversal operation. Or in other words, this T is conserved, the time reversal is conserved in this reaction. So it is observed that the time reversal or the T is conserved in a strong and electromagnetic interaction and it is almost always conserved in weak interaction. No uh, opposite result is yet observed but it is almost always conserved in weak interaction. So the second one is the charge conjugation. The charge conjugation means the, all the particles in the reaction is converted into their antiparticles without changing the spin or direction of motion, etc. Since the particle, the A is converted into A bar, the C is converted into C bar, means the antiparticle of C and the B is converted into B bar and D is converted into D bar. So this reaction becomes this one. Here the arrow is the same, the particles are remaining at the same positions, but this bar, the particles becomes their bars, means they become their antiparticles at the same position. So similar to this time reversal operation, if this reaction is possible, if this reaction is possible, then the C is conserved, the charge conjugation is conserved in this reaction. If it is not possible, if this reaction is not possible, it is not conserved in the reaction. It is observed that the time reversal is, sorry, the charge conjugation is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction. But it is not conserved in weak interaction. It is not conserved in weak interaction. You can see on an example, the charge conjugation on this reaction means this neutrino decays in the proton plus electron plus this antineutrino, where the antineutrino have this behavior means it is right-handed uh, one. This antineutrino is right-handed one. That means they have uh, the same spin direction as that of the moving direction. But you can see for the neutrino, for the case of neutrino, the direction of spin is this one to the left side, but the direction of motion is to the right side. So both are opposite. The direction of motion of the particles and direction of the spin is always opposite. So by the charge conjugation, this becomes, these particles becomes their antiparticles, means this N becomes the antineutron, this P becomes the antiproton, and this electron becomes the positron, and this antineutrino becomes this neutrino. 
but since it is the spin direction is not changing its direction of motion is also not changing their direction and spin still remains means still they remain right handed system but the neutrino is actually a left handed system so it is not this reaction is possible so it is not conserved in this reaction so in general the charge conjugation is not conserved in weak interaction but it is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction now the parity conservations the parity means the mirror reflection the parity of a function means you can see if this fun for this function here you can see this is the just opposite of the the mirror image is just negative of the rhs here also the negative of the mirror images of the rhs negative of the just opposite of the mirror images of the rhs so the disparity is negative and here you can see the mirror image means the rhs and lhs about this axis is same so uh, the parity is plus one and here the rhs and lhs about this axis is not related that means they do not have a definite parity so for the reaction for this reaction this a and p combines to produce this c and d after the parity this becomes the mirror images means this a and t are interchanged and this b and c are also interchanged so after the parity reaction this this, this reaction becomes this one the pan down is a pan down and lhs and rhs are inverted so if there this reaction is possible then the parity is conserved if this reaction is not possible then the parity is not conserved in that reaction so the parity conservation in various type of reactions were explored it was found that in weak reactions the parity is not conserved it was uh, it was demonstrated by the wuss experiment see the wuss experiment so see this is the wuss experiment this right hand image represents the wuss experiment in wuss experiment it was found that the beta emitting cobalt 60 nuclei so these are the beta emitting these circles are the uh, cobalt 60 nuclei with directed magnetic moments their magnetic moments here it is to the uh, this anti -clock, clockwise spin so their magnetic moments is upward the direction of magnetic moments is upward uh, so that it was observed that they eject electrons mostly in the opposite direction to that of the magnetic moments so this arrow represents these arrows represents the direction of ejection of electrons the direction of ejection of electrons you can see the most of these uh, electrons are ejected in a direction which is opposite to the direction of magnetic moment which is the upward direction but you can see the mirror image of this experiment in mirror image of the experiments what happens you can see the spin of cobalt nuclei is inverted the spin is in clockwise direction that is why the direction of magnetic moment is downward the direction of magnetic moment is downward it means that in mirror image the direction the electrons are ejected in the direction of magnetic moment the same direction of the magnetic moment which is opposite to the experimental uh, confirmation which is uh, it, so it means that the parity is not conserved in these kinds of weak interactions 
to before the Bose experiments these were the beliefs the parity is conserved in all interactions all interactions are invariant with respect to reflections in with respect to parity change any process looks plausible when viewed in the mirror the natural does not differentiate between the left and right but after the Wu's experiments, the beliefs changed. The parity is not conserved in weak interactions. The weak interactions are not invariant with respect to reflections. The mirror image of a weak interaction might describe an impossible process. Nature does not distinguish Nature does distinguish between left and right. So this was the conclusion after the Wu's experiment. So now what is TCP theorem? So the combined operation, the P, C and P, the order is not important. So the combined operation P, C, P is invariant in any type of interactions that is in strong interaction in electromagnetic interaction and weak interaction in other words tcp is conserved in all type of interaction even though the c and p are not conserved separately in weak interactions and p is almost always conserved in weak interactions tcp is always conserved it is invariant in all types of interaction including weak interactions so we can represent the tcp the combined operation tcp of this original reaction like this first we will take the time reversal operation then the charge conjugation of this uh, particle and after that we take the parity operations okay so we get this one after the tcp uh, we get this one. This is the combined operation of these uh, separate operations. One by one, we get this one. The order is not important. Now we will see a consolidated picture of the previously discussed various conservation laws and the basic interactions. So we can observe this. Uh, four basic, the four classic conservation laws the linear momentum conservation, the energy mass conservation, angular momentum conservation, and electric charge conservation, which are conserved in all type of reactions, means in strong electromagnetic and weak interaction. Similarly, in neo conservation laws, the baryon number conservation, the leptonic conservation, separate leptonic and electronic lepton numbers, then the ionic lepton numbers, and tau lepton numbers, the three those react, these three those numbers are conserved in all type of interactions again. But you can see the strangeness, the third component of the isospin, the parity, the charge conjugation, these are conserved in strong and electromagnetic but not conserved in weak interaction these four numbers are conserved in strong and electromagnetic but not conserved in weak interaction but you can see the isospin which is conserved solely in strong interaction not conserved in electromagnetic and weak interaction and we found that the time reversal or the CP, which is also equivalent to the time reversal operation, which is conserved in again uh, the strong and electromagnetic and almost always conserved in the weak interaction. This no opposite uh, observation was not ob obtained. And the TCP is always conserved in all type of reactions. Okay. Now we can also consolidate a clear picture of the relationship between the various particles in their affected interactions. You can see the hadrons are affected by the strong electromagnetic, weak 
and the gravitational interaction. The electron and muons is lepton. The electron and muons means the leptons are affected by the electromagnetic interaction, weak interaction and gravitational interaction means it is not affected by the strong interaction. The carriers, the photon, W plus, W minus, Z zero, which are affected by the electromagnetic, weak and gravitational interaction means since these are the uh, carriers of the electroweak interaction means these are affected by this type of interaction but not affected by the strong interaction. But the neutrinos are affected by the weak and electromag weak and gravitational interaction and the graviton is solely affected by the gravitational interaction. This is the this is a consolidated picture of the various particles and the affected interaction. Okay, thank you.